Today on Toy Shiz, we finally learned what Aquaman is looking at over there. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Last week, we had some teases for some upcoming 2022 DC Multiverse figures by McFarlane Toys. Some interesting ones, some non Batman figures, right? Go figure. The shock on your faces, I'm sure, says it all. But before we get started, if you are interested, I will have links down in the description below. If you're interested in pre-ordering any of these, I'll have them for Amazon and Entertainment Earth where applicable. So thank you very much in advance. It helps my channel to grow. So let's kick it off with another Superman, right? First it was Batman, now we're getting a ton of Supermans. That's going to be the motif going forward for 2022, right? This may come as a shock to some of you. This is not the original 90s solar suit, Kryptonian healing suit from the Death of Superman comic book. This is the new DC Rebirth version where this is the original Superman who wore that suit, if I'm not mistaken, and he's flashpointed and it still exists. Anyways, Apparently, Lois Lane makes it for him for an anniversary gift. He gets involved with the DC Universe again. DC Comics is mind-boggling to me at this point. But this new Superman does come with some flying hands, and he's got some fisted punching hands, along with a hovering flight stand as well. Trading card, yada yada. So I would say that for the most part, he looks good. I'm not too sure that he has, let's say, silver boots like he does on the figure. It looks to be accents of silver where they're largely all black. So I guess if that's a goof, unless it's just a variance on who is drawing what in that sense. I don't think they look terrible. It gives them a little differentiation between the costumes so he looks good i can't say that it's like my favorite thing ever there's been a ton of black suited solar suited supermans over the years so i like the bearded look yes it's a new look that we technically haven't gotten in action figure form and so we'll see how it is once he comes out look for these all these figures coming soon probably early 2022 perhaps we'll see them around january february around that time frame provided that the shipping uh, does improve over time so moving on yes another non-batman character unless it's batman in disguise who knows this is john jones the martian manhunter this is the dc rebirth version so you're gonna kind of see that going forward not my ideal look for the martian manhunter right i mean it's close enough to previous things he's worn and such it's a good looking figure i'll give him that all day now he only comes with the stand and then the figure there's no extra hands there's no swap out anything else head portraits unfortunately i think that this one been a great figure to have that unless they're going to go the route again of giving us many different variances different heads yada yada we'll have to see <laughs> when that happens but in terms of how he looks costume wise i would say yeah they pretty much nailed it i like this look for john jones once you have him in hand you'll get a better idea i always say photographs for action figures big farlands in general sometimes you kind of have to have these figures in hand before you can make the final judgment call but i mean even some eye blast effects something like that powers I say that with Marvel Legends all the time, X-Men figures, Spider-Man, powers, effects, things to put on the figure, clip-ons and such. Those really bring these figures to life other than just being, hey, we're going to stand on our shelves and do that whole thing. But packaging looks good. Nice big Martian Manhunters. But in all honesty, when compared to the Solar Suit Superman, yeah, I'm actually uh, pretty stoked on uh, this new Martian Manhunter. So we'll be picking him up when I see him in stores. Moving on, we finally got some bad guys going. We're going to go after General Zod on this one. This one, again, DC Rebirth slash, I would say, just to kind of looking at the artwork, New 52 in some sense. Now, this is not necessarily the costume. I've said a bunch of times already. Not necessarily the costumes I think of DC characters, General Zod included, although I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what I think about with General Zod. Sometimes I think of Jaxor and Mala from Superman the Animated Series. I'm not a big fan of what they did with Zod in the original Superman. I know. I actually did like Michael Shannon, though, in uh, Man of Steel, so that was kind of cool. So I guess maybe that's where I'm kind of getting my idea. I like this. He looks like a general Zod. He's got some armor. He's got some reds and yellows going on with the silver and the black cape. Very Superman-ish, right? Pretty 
pretty close to a, a, a Cal L. Clark Kent sort of deal with a beard, but I kind of like that they're doing it. It's a nice juxtaposition from uh, light and dark, kind of the mirror image. But yeah, he looks powerful, he looks menacing. Again, he's gonna come with actually a bunch of different swap out hands. That's something new that's looking good for 2022 as far as change-ups in DC Multiverse. Comes with a stand as well. And as far as powers and such, I mean, yeah, that would... Again, I'll say it all day until they start doing it. It would just be nice to get some sort of effect pieces for these characters to really bring them to life. And then finally, last but not least, we are getting a brand new Arthur Curry Aquaman figure. This time around, he's going to come from that 2020 crossover of story event from Justice League DC Comics. This is the Endless Winter. Now, when this figure was actually unveiled last week, I did a whole bunch of reading and read up on the endless winter and such and it doesn't really do it for me it's kind of humdrum if anything i mean you kind of think it's going to go one way and it really just kind of fizzles out also it kind of reminds me of the old storyline final night in a way you know when the sun goes it's just kind of weird i don't know i didn't care for it but this design of aquaman pretty much a classic look now this is one of those where i kind of do hope that if they do another repaint variant or whatever, they give them the hook hand, right? As far as the character of Aquaman, I do just like normal Aquaman talking to fish, but the 90s kid in me really does like that hook hand. I don't know why, probably because of the uh, Justice League animated series as well. They went with that, but uh, yeah, if they decide to do that, or heck, it would have been nice to just have that as a swap out. That would have been cool as well. I know that's not totally Endless Winter appropriate, but he does come with a really nice, shiny looking trident weapon, except that he's doing the whole looking over to the side eyes thing. McFarlane Toys, please, we're all begging you. Stop doing that. Nobody's liking it. It's not a good thing. I know it's different. I like when you guys do different things most of the time, but it's not one of those things. It's just, You always just wonder, what are they looking at off to the side? Packaging looks good. The same old, same old. I'm really happy to have other types of Justice League characters going and this actually does look like a very spot on very menacing looking aquaman and hey for better or for worse that's actually pretty cool so that really wraps it up for the look at the new four characters that were unveiled again if you're interested in pre-ordering any of these they are available down in links below amazon entertainment earth all that jazz and i'm curious to know what you guys think about these new figures will you be grabbing them are you excited for 2022 and all the dc multiverse offerings and which characters would you like to see them tackle? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if I don't speak with you, have the very happiest of holidays. Eat well, celebrate well, and just have a grand old time digging into those gifts. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. You could have given him some Oreos. He loves his Oreos.